Hello everybody, uh, this is the fourth part of uh, our image processing course with MATLAB. I hope that uh, you have watched the previous uh, videos and uh, you have uh, learned some new skills in image processing and uh, I hope that you liked the video. Uh, if you liked it and if you are motivated uh, don't forget to like the videos, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to propose it to your friends. Uh, so in this uh, part, uh, we will uh, go through histogram. Uh, it is pretty important in image processing and it is almost the first step in processing uh, your images. Uh, and it is a very helpful tool for you. Uh, while very simple but helpful tool for processing your images um, so uh, if uh, in fact uh, uh, we can take a look at the definition of a histogram uh, so uh, I take a pen I come here uh, it's okay this one okay so I say histo Histogram. Okay. Uh, what is histogram? Histogram is the frequency of different pixels in your image. All right. So uh, let's just uh, draw a small uh, image like this. It was not so good. If you have four pixels, uh, for example, one of them is one. One of them is uh, uh, one hundred. The other one, uh, three, or 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 for example, we can say um, one hundred, and you have another one that is two hundred. Okay, we have three values. Uh, one of them is one, one pixel. The value is one, almost black. One of them is two hundred, almost white. Two gray ones. Okay, one hundred. If you want to draw the histogram. It will be a uh, very simple, in fact this is uh, a little, I can make it better, so let me take this one, if I draw it like this it is better. So here you have the values of your pixels between 0 and 200. 55 and here you have the frequency the number of uh, pixels for each value that you have so we have one pixel okay that is one so we will have a bar like this we will have two pixels okay if this is two here that the value is 100 okay and we have one pixel that is 200 okay so this will be the histogram of our small image like this all right so now uh, you can understand that if your image is a bit bigger all right the histogram can be uh, more uh, uh, curvature and smooth okay so it can be for example if our image was bigger all right like this my pen okay 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 or if it is even uh, so I, I missed this value all right so it is like this you have more values in your image and if still you have more bars so uh, you will have more of these here sorry let me come back and uh, it will be uh, a shape that is uh, more clear and more understandable for you so um, also it is possible to connect these lines together to have the total 
shape of your histogram all right so uh, let's uh, have an example on uh, matlab and again um, learn about histogram a bit more in this case uh, i again um, read an image uh, i say im read uh, so you remember that we needed apostrophe so i read old man dot jpg okay and i say im hist parenthesis i so with this function okay i could show the histogram of my image uh, also i need to uh, show my original image so uh, in, in fact i needed to uh, make a figure not to be shown on the same figure so i say figure im hist and this is the image all right so here you have the image and here you have the histogram and now you you know that uh, on the x-axis you have the values between 0 and 255 that uh, um, is different levels of uh, grayscale intensity that you have and on the y-axis you have uh, the number of pixels for each value all right so for example here um, you look at your image and you say that my image is not good and is not pretty clear and for example the first idea that you come to your histogram is this that you see that your highest value is 150 and uh, you will you will see that uh this is the reason that your image is dark because you don't have pixels over 150 you, you don't have uh, uh high values in your image so you will treat your image in the way that make it uh more clear uh, so this uh the histogram all right uh, and we understood that this image has this problem then you will say that uh, how we can fix this uh, you will see that if a histogram is uh, balanced all over the range the image is more clear and by the correct meaning the contrast is higher because you will have much more values different values and this makes your image uh, much more clear to to be understand okay in this case uh, let's use uh, a function that uh, corrects the histogram for us so we want to start with im adjust we can take a look at im adjust in the documentation of MATLAB and you open it and uh, so here it says adjust image intensity values or color map and here you have different uh, forms of image adjust to use and uh, you see that even image adjust accepts an RGB image and uh, treats all layers of the image um and makes it more clear for you for example you have this image and you see that uh, by tree by, by using image just the result is much more clear for example now we can use it i say um add like adjust image equal to image just uh i and uh, so uh, we receive an error uh, so uh, this is because uh, I is an RGB and if we change it to uh, RGB to gray 
if we change it to a gray image and run it you will see that it functions so let's show both of the images i think from the previous video i have supplied here so uh im show i and im show add so you see that uh, after applying image just um, how how much the histogram has been corrected how much the different levels of um, uh, gray have been corrected and now the contrast uh, of the image is much more better and you see the details very much better if, if you look at for example the lines here or, or around the eyes you will see that it is pretty uh, clear this image also we can take a look at the histogram of the new image so i say in hist add and you see that now we have uh, gray values in uh, all the range between 0 and 255 and this is the reason that now the image is much more clear uh, another good uh, thing about image just is, is that you can also yeah uh, give it a map uh and to say that for example bring this range to this range okay you see low in high in 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 for input and low out and high out okay so let's try that also in this case i say image just um of uh, this image that this uh, this is a gray image okay rgb to gray just for changing i to a gray image our image and uh two maps okay low in uh, for example i say 50 to 150 okay bring this range to 0 and 255 to all the range and um, uh, we we will see the result however you see that uh, it says that you need to uh, define the ranges between 0 and 1 okay so uh, so let's come here and say that for example 0.3 to 0.7 to 0 and 1 all the range okay and here again we can show both images okay and you see that it is it is not uh, a good result and uh, it became darker because uh, we missed uh, the, the the real the best you know the most part of the information that were less than 0.3 okay so if you want to correct it you just need to for example change it to zero all right zero to seven to to that range and you'll see that now the result is pretty good all right so uh this for image just um however uh, there's another uh function that again uh is for uh correcting histogram and we call it hist eq yeah that means histogram equalization all right so uh let's try this for example say h equal to uh hist eq i and let's see the result all right so here i show the original image and uh after histogram equalization and you see that really the result is magnificent uh if you look at the hair of this man uh, you see that it is pretty interesting with different uh, levels of gray uh, and if you uh, you know equalization uh, for histogram is like uh, if you uh, we have for example uh, I need to 
take a pen here so it is like this you have a histogram all right that it is like a dark image okay and we didn't have much values in the uh, bright part all right we say that by histogram equalization we make uh, all the values of gray um, uh, approximately equal okay and in all the range between 0 and 255 and you see that uh, it works uh, pretty uh, interesting okay so you have all the values uh, of intensity almost in the same range okay and let's see, see the result on matlab okay so if we want to show the histogram of this image h you will see it is like this that almost all of them are between 2000 and 4000 for example 5000 maybe here all right so it has tried to equalize the level of gray uh, level of uh, uh, you know intensity for uh, all pixels almost in a close range uh, for each other so it works pretty interesting uh, another thing that uh, ability for uh, his EQ is that uh, you can also define the number of um, bars for example here I, I say just five bars show me the histo uh, um, so equalize uh, I'm sorry so equalize the histogram into just five levels of gray intensity so uh, now let's show the results you see it is like this and if we show that the histogram of H you see that it is only five uh, values or uh, of course this leads to losing information and uh, it's better that uh, you choose uh, a good a sufficient number of uh, bars that you need um, next one uh, is a tool uh, for uh, manually uh, justify the contrast of the image for example I write in contrast and I okay you run it uh, it seems that I should just show it before in this case I say in show I and I come back here and I run in contrast uh, in contrast I no so let's check uh, the documentation for being sure contrast is here adjust contrast tool okay in contrast um, H so I think I was RGB this is why that it didn't work so if we say in contrast uh, instead of I for example add uh, so it is show here in contrast add to to be a very uh, I don't know let me show add and in contrast so it is like this okay you show your image and after that you uh, use in contrast and here with these handles you can uh, play with the uh, different uh, cutting removing or keeping uh, you know gray levels 
so you see here for example like this either the dark pixels or the bright pixels and you can play with the contrast of uh, the image all right so also this for in contrast uh, and uh, uh, next one is adapt his eq however for this we need to in fact uh, show you uh, another for example let's read another image that is an image of some coins master.jpg i think let's show this all right you see that this is an image uh, and uh, a large part of your image is completely uh, black zero and the rest you have some elements uh, we change this to i equal to rgb2 gray i okay and this is the gray scale of it and imagine that we want to uh, just correct the contrast of this image using um, for example um, adapt uh, for example uh, his EQ so let's see the result uh, we say H I write this with big H his EQ of I and him show H and you see that your image has been ruined instead of becoming better this is why this is because his EQ works on uh, all your image and does this uh, operation uh, histogram equalization on all of your image and doesn't understand the uh, uniform areas so the problem can be solved with uh, an algorithm that works locally on your image and if here on this region you have just only one value it doesn't change it and it works on the differences in this case you have this function that is pretty interesting um, so I, I will write for example uh, h1 equal to adapt hist eq of i and im show or both of them uh, let's go back to this function h okay so um h uh sorry h1 is the result and you see that the result is pretty interesting the black area is only black but the rest of the regions have been uh, ameliorated uh, based on contrast so this is uh, um, uh, the application of this function that is pretty interesting another uh, function that we want to see with each other is negative transformation that um, it's it is for um, apply negative uh, filter in fact on your image but uh, uh, how it works you see that it works like uh, if you have dark pixels here all right it's or or say if you have if you have just black this is zero it brings it to one okay so here i write image and here i write transformed sorry transformed so i need to write it better sorry okay trans 
formed. Image is is like this. So if you have, uh, for example, gray, it will become gray again. But if you have white, so it becomes zero, becomes black. Okay. So this is how uh, negative transform works and you will see that um, it is for some applications it is pretty interesting so uh, let's uh, read a new image um, I for example read well uh, well that I think TIF and uh, let me show it to you this image so you have this image and uh, we would like to apply the negative uh, function on it. So I say that n is equal to implement of i. Okay. And I say figure uh, im show n. Oh, sorry. Im show n. So you see that now this result is pretty interesting and uh, is um, quite better to show to uh, an expert and to analyze it. Uh, so it was uh, just an application for negative function that you will apply it by im complement. All right. And next one is uh, gamma transformation that is famous for uh, gamma correction uh, gamma correction is pretty important uh, also in image processing and you see that how it works you see that for gamma equal to one we have no change all right but for gammas bigger than one you see that it is a transform that makes uh, your image darker. How you see that for high values of white, okay, it brings them to a low value. For example, if you have, uh, for example, for this gamma that is about 10, if you have 0.8, it comes becomes point 0.1 all right so and for gammas that are uh, smaller than one it is a brightening uh, transformation because if you have dark uh, values you see that it brings them to high values so it becomes uh, brighter the result so how how to apply this uh, on your image let's um, say g is equal to uh, im it just we will uh, use image just for applying gamma correction we say i so for the maps we just leave them empty uh, to bring all the range to all the range and I say gamma point one all right and now we will show both of the images like this okay I and the one that is corrected uh, in fact uh, this has been negative uh, function also has been applied in it so um, um, I needed to uh, for example if we want to change 
this image uh, point uh, we can play with it a little bit and point seven and this is the result and you see that it is much better and uh, if we apply it uh, in fact on the image of old man maybe it is also interesting so I need to read it old man dot jpg uh, so image just and point seven and show them you see that it has worked like this um, if you want to make it more bright uh, brighter so just you need to use a smaller value of gamma for example point four so this is the result that it had worked on it like this and the result is pretty interesting uh, so uh, in this uh, video you uh, got familiar with histogram and some uh, functions for processing it yeah i hope that uh, it was uh, interesting for you and uh, see you in the next video